Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. Today's tool review is going to be another Milwaukee tool uh, from my M12 line. And this is a tool, if you see the products over here uh, to the side, you can might be give an idea of what this product might be, uh, or at least it's geared towards plumbing, and that is the M12 PVC shear. So I wanted to share this. I've had a few questions asked about it. It's not a tool for everybody for sure. As a matter of fact, it's probably not even used enough by me that it's really worth buying it but to me if you are a plumber by trade uh, this would be something that you'd want to look into or maybe if you're an electrician uh, who deals a lot with you know the gray pvc conduit and you do a lot of that it's the same thing it's it's just a big time saver and just the ease the hand operation and all that kind of stuff just saving your hand for the course of the day but again we'll get into that but I just mostly want to answer, you know, this thing only does one thing is it, it cuts. So I'm going to show you how it cuts today. Uh, but basically what this would be replacing for you is if you've got a, you know, a ratcheting cutter like this of some kind, whatever brand that you've got, you know, where you can open that up and then you can slowly ratchet and cut your pipe. You know, you got to sit there and have that action over and over again. This is a powered version of this. Uh, that's bottom line. That's what it is. Uh, so if this is something that you do a lot and you want to take off some of that fatigue and all those things and make it easier, then this might be the tool that's for you. But this is definitely not a tool for everybody. Uh, you would need to do that kind of work to make it worth the investment to buy this thing. But again, the question I get asked all the time is, what will it cut? Well, again, this is model number 2470-20. Uh, so if you want that number. And according to their specs, it says it will cut anything 2 inch, schedule 80, 80 PVC, schedule 40 CPVC, 2 inch ABS, foam core PVC, also 2 inch PEX or rubber hose or any kind of non-metallic conduit. So basically 2 inch is the capacity and I primarily have only used it on PEX and PVC. So those are two things that I've used it a lot on. Cuts both of those flawlessly. I never had an issue with it whatsoever. So if that's something you deal with, you know, I can't speak to the other stuff. But I do know that it does cut those very well. Now, whenever you get into maybe some older pipe, if you're actually going in and doing demo work, sometimes PVC, as it gets old, uh, whenever you go to use this, it might crack it. But that happens with your ratcheting cutter, uh, you know, as well. So sometimes whenever I deal with old pipes, I just go ahead and deal with cutting it with a saw and, and be done with it because sometimes these the pressure that you squeeze uh, it causes those things to bust into pieces if that pipe is old and become brittle uh, another big question that i get asked is these are the type of piping you know that you'll see underneath the bathroom and kitchen sinks and vanities and all those things this real thin wall plastic material i get asked all the time will it cut that I'll show you whether or not it does that as well. So we'll talk about that. But, but let me get into going ahead and showing you how this cuts. And again, I'll show you as it cuts, after it cuts, I'll show you maybe a, a big perk to having this opposed to, do you have other saws that will do this work? Yes, you can use a band saw. You can use an oscillating tool saw. Uh, you can use a sawzall, all those things. But that's going to make a lot of dust or a little bit of PVC pieces all over the place wherever you're working at. Uh, sometimes that can become an issue. Sometimes it doesn't matter, but maybe if that's something that bothers you, a ratcheting cutter uh, like this one or, or something like this tool here that we're talking about today, it gets rid of all that. It eliminates all that cleanup time. So but let me show you how it cuts and then we'll talk about it from there. So this kit only comes with a 1.5 amp hour battery. Uh, whenever I got it, that's what it came with, but it always lasts for a really long time. So I don't know how many cuts you can make on this, but I never personally have ever done enough that I would even remotely know. But again, if you were somebody who used it all day long, each and every day, I don't even know what their claim on the cuts are. I personally have used the same battery in it for, uh, I don't even know how long without even charging it. That's just how often that I actually use this myself. Uh, but it ver works very easily. Uh, basically, you have a safety lock uh, here on both sides, so you can press it from either side. And as you hold that in, you got two levers. The top lever up here is what opens it, and then the bottom lever, that's what closes it. But if I let go of the safety button to do that, it goes ahead and opens as well. But sometimes it gets kind of weird in between, and you got to sit here and fumble with this. I haven't really 100% figured that out. But it's not a 
once you get the hang of it, every time you get it back out, it's something that just comes natural. It's just if you don't use it very often, you, you come to forget. So again, it's you got two buttons as a safety. You have to always be pushing in on this button and then, then you can pull the trigger and then you press that one to release and it opens it back up. Now you can also, because this would be a question someone might ask, what if I'm making a cut and I want to stop? Does it have to finish the cut? So I can start it there, say I moved off my mark, I can press that, it opens it back up. So you can stop mid-cut, uh, you don't have to finish through a cycle before it will open back up. So that way if you end up getting off your mark or something like that, you know it works well for that. So here it is cutting PVC. Uh, this is a one and a half inch PVC, it's what I just had laying around the house. Uh, so you can see here if I, I'm going to press in the safety trigger. We're going to press the trigger to engage it. Cuts right through. Uh, you get a clean cut. So again, that's a that's to me that is the perk of either a again a ratcheting cutter or this tool itself by Milwaukee uh, is that if you're working somewhere and you don't want all those PVC shavings, you don't want to have to sit there and deburr everything. You want a straight cut. You know it's a hundred percent straight. So if you get in there with the Sawzall, sometimes you can get off. But every piece is 100% clean, nice, smooth cut, works very well. Another key benefit I think about this tool is if you're working in framing and you have, you know, a pipe that's pretty close to some framing, you can get this in some pretty tight spots. So if I, I can get it all the way in like that and have this tool angled out, where I'm not stuck in between two stud bays. And I can still cut that. I can still get in there and uh, cut that. It's gonna be hard for me to do with you know, one hand. But if I had that there and I wanted to cut this, I can get in a pretty tight spot, get in there and cut that pipe, You know, put in my T-fitting, whatever it is that I'm doing and repair and go from there. So that's another benefit to me is the way that they have this you have this smooth side here you can kind of run that all the way up against a stud and it lets you get into a pretty tight spot works pretty well i think that, that that's pretty good for that so again pvc up to two inch i haven't had one problem with it again the only time i've had an issue is if i'm dealing with some old piping you got to be careful but again that has nothing to do with this m12 tool that's just old PVC piping can become brittle and then you'll start having a problem with that. So again, next would be, will it cut this pipe that, you know, this is the kind of pipe that's underneath your sink, your P-traps, uh, your tail pieces, all those extensions, things like that in case you need to cut something to length. And the bottom line is I would say, no, you might get lucky every now and then, but this is just so thin and the pressure that it puts on this pipe, it kind of just breaks it out. So I'll cut through it here. And you can see that that's what it will do with that. So you don't want to use it for that. You can't really use a rasting cutter on this stuff either unless you kind of get in there a little bit and then you can maybe sometimes turn it like this and slice through it and get through it. Uh, every now and then you can do that with this because it only closes so much at a time whereas this is basically going to close up and break it. But that's what you're going to get into with that. Now one tool that I've used lately for this kind of stuff and i'll put up a model number for this uh, i'm not going to go in great detail about it but this little rigid cutter tool right here works pretty good this is specifically designed for inch and a quarter and inch and a half of this kind of pipe uh, so again it works well you spin it around a few times and it slowly eats out the pipe and you end up getting a smooth cut straight cut and it's even got a little bit of a bevel on the edge of it there to work with, you know, the, the washers and the things like that that you use with that. So, so again, will it cut this? No. Of course, the manual didn't say that it would anyways. But the reason why is because it's such a, it's a little bit harder pipe. It's thin pipe. So whenever you start squeezing it, it basically wants to blow up. So, uh, again, that's, that's really all there is to it, guys. It's, it's a PVC cutter. It's a ratcheting cutter that's powered by battery. Is it a tool for everybody? No. Let me know in the comments below if you use this. 
uh, especially if you're in the plumbing trade or again if you do a lot of electrical conduit that's uh, pvc conduit something like that how well you've used it and how well you like it and uh, you could probably even answer more of the longevity and just if you put it to everyday use because again this has only been a tool that's been used you know very infrequently by me I only basically use this if I'm going in and doing a small remodel of some kind and I do the plumbing work myself because it's just basically changing out, you know, uh, the vanity or something like that. Or, you know, you're getting into something where you're actually moving a wall and you want to repair something or add something in. You know, it's very rarely that I have actually used this tool, but it's worked well the times that I have used it. Uh, I'm just a person who likes to buy the tools whenever I see them. And if it's going to be useful for me on one job, I buy it and then if I, I have it from then on out, so it's worked well for me. But again, let me know what you guys think about it. Hope all is well. Stay safe. Have a blessed day. See you on the next video. Let me go ahead and, and just show you both of them how, or show it how. Fasting cutter is pretty much exactly the same. You can't really use a 